HDR or high dynamic range displays promise to offer a bigger range of colors and are much richer than normal monitors. They're even called the biggest leap in the 4K era, but is all this hype really worth it? Welcome to Hardy's Hobbies. Nowadays, HDR monitors are quite common and you can pick them up for much less than $200 even. It offers a much wider range of colors and thus the contrast and richness of the display are significantly improved. When put side by side, the difference is oftentimes quite staggering, but how exactly does HDR work? Well, one of the core technologies that HDR utilizes is EOTF or Electric Optical Transfer Function. Now, this sounds really complicated, but it's actually quite simple. Basically, it is an electronic value from the content that specifies the brightness of the display. For example, a value of 768 equals 2 nits, and a value of 1024 equals 5 nits, and so on and so forth. But don't all displays do this when displaying an image? When they are told to display a color, they simply display it as bright as they can. HDR displays, on the other hand, adjust the brightness level in order to produce an image that is much more lifelike. Combined with a much wider color gamut, this is the big difference that you're witnessing when you're comparing it side by side. HDR displays also produce better color by using better light. LCD displays, for example, use color filters, which are essentially plastic sheets. These plastic sheets filter the white backlight and produce the color that you see. The key issue with the strategy is that the deeper the color, the dimmer the display is, and this takes a significant hit on the richness. The easy solution to this is to use color LEDs, but color LEDs are a lot more expensive, and even if you were willing to pay the price, it is quite hard to find a TV with the green, red, and blue LED lights. The substitute solution to this issue is to utilize quantum dots. These microscopic materials are actually very efficient at creating colors and it is relatively easy to display the exact frequency of color that is being required. As a result, these displays can produce a very deep color while not losing out on brightness. The main thing actually helping HDR to work is the content itself. For the past 10 years, the vast majority of recorded footage actually has a higher dynamic range than is possible to display with modern TVs. HDR unlocks its extra potential and makes the colors much more true to life. Even many films that were produced over 10 years ago are currently being remastered in order to be compatible with HDR. Finally, as a result, is HDR worth it and should you buy a display with this technology? Well, this question is actually very easy. The answer is yes, they are definitely worth it. With how cheap and common they have become in just the last couple of years, it is clear that this technology is going to soon become a standard. Most Netflix shows and all movies already support this. On top of this, HDR displays will actually make anything look better due to their bigger range of colors. So if you can afford it, it is definitely a better idea to buy a display with HDR technology so that you are not left behind in just a few short years. But that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Do you think HDR is the future? And if so, do you already have a monitor that supports it? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think. Also, if you thought this video was helpful, then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.